Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you the essential tools that you need for med school. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the necessary tools any med student will need. So you're going to need your pen lights. I have one in purple and one in um, pink. One is LED, the other is warm light. Um, depending on what you're using, you're going to use your warm light on eyes, you're going to use your LED on the throat, ears, and things like that. So I got one fridge so that I know one color is LED and one color is warm. I got a brand new neurological buck hammer and I got them with the blue tips. Normally they're black tips. I just kind of like them to be different. And then if you unscrew that, you have like a little needle to double check reflexes. Speaking of reflexes, you have your Babinski hammer, which you kind of roll over the nerves and you have another little needle on the bottom to double check if your nervous endings are working. You have your tuning fork. This is a 128 hertz tuning fork. This is to double check your hearing. You just kind of like smack it on your hand and figure out if you're hearing correctly when it stops. You have your pocket eye chart. Um, helps you tell me like the, um, how big your pupil is in millimeters you have your entire eye checking and then you have your little ruler in metric and inches on the back so this is good to always keep in your pocket measuring tape always have measuring tape with you uh, this is small and compactable so it's like really nice to have with you this is your ophthalmoscope and audioscope it's for your ears and your eyes and your nose and this is LED let me show you what it looks on the inside when you get it it's like this and then you open it up and you have both of them with all of your little um, discardable tips for them you have one and two now I won't show you how they're working because the light is very bright and I don't want to have anybody go blind because of this of course, you're going to need your stethoscope, but I think it's the most important feature to distinguish a doctor. And I got a new one in purple. So I got my new one in purple because, as you all know, purple is my favorite color. So this is my purple one. And I keep my stuff in their boxes as much as possible because I like preserving them as much as I can. Your blood pressure cuff. They come in a little pouch when you get them from the supplier. And as you all know, what is my favorite color? Purple. So this is a manual one. And this is the standard adult size. Normally these come in blue, like navy blue. Um, I just, again, love purple very much. And because this is my personal one that I am using while studying in med school to do my clinicals, this is the one that I use normally. Hospitals or where you work will have their own ones in the normal navy blue. Comes in a little pouch. And then, of course, your scrubs. This year I have to use navy blue and hunter green. So these are my scrubs. My scrubs for the year are those ones. These look almost black. They're that that color. And then this is navy, like really dark green. And then last but not least, I got this handy dandy little pack which brings you a strap. And then when you open it up, it has your caravaner, of course, but it has space here so that you can add all of your stuff, your stethoscope, your blood pressure cuff, like a lot of times like blood pressure cuff goes here and your stethoscope goes in here and then you add all of your Babinski and then all your um, pens and you can put your eye chart and you always have a pair of scissors. So that's kind of what I have and it's easy because especially small pieces can easily be lost. So you want to keep them in one place and I can just throw this in my backpack and keep going and I don't really have to worry about forgetting one thing or another. I just have to be one pack and just keep going with that. And if like my blood pressure cuff doesn't fit, I have my little blood pressure cuff bag. And if this doesn't fit, it brings its own case. 
so yeah those are my essentials for a med school student of course there are more um, different pieces and different equipment that you can use and depending then your specialty some of this you will not use very often some of these you would have different ones because of your specialty but these are the ones that i think are the most general and because i just kind of switched down mine i wanted to show you guys what i got thank you guys so much for watching please click the like button so that i know that you like videos like this please click the notification bell to get notified when i post which is weekly on thursdays and click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.